good morning and welcome back to this vibe i'm vivian camille and today we are in air vibe canyon well we're not there yet we slept in the van last night and we are going to head to the trailhead which is a couple miles to go and then we will be, we'll be at the trailhead and in the canyon in less than an hour i need to brush my teeth and finish getting dressed and we'll be there woo mermaid socks Good morning, it is day two. We were in the canyon yesterday. We got to our campsite um, and then headed into Booger Canyon. Just to check that out. The, um, the water is not flowing much, at least in that canyon. So um, there weren't the cool waterfalls like usual, but that's okay. More reason to come back. Um, today we're gonna go to Hell something or other. And then we will head to horse camp. Should be a good day. Woohoo! Good morning, says the sun. <laughs> this was my bathtub. It wasn't as deep as I remembered it being, so it became a splash tub. <laughs> I can't believe you swam in this. Or bathed in this. It was worth it. Yeah, I'm glad you thought so. It feels so good to be seen. These bottom parts, I'm good. Always have pretty clearly marked trails. So we are now in the Booger Canyon. Headed up to have some breakfast on these really cool rocks. And kind of watch the sun come up. It's kind of already up, but... You know. I think called Boogers. Boogers? Like some guy whose nickname was Booger. Oh. I don't know, Boogers. though. Boogers Canyon, Booger Canyon, Snot Canyon. Whatever you're... Yeah, whatever. Whatever. We must unfold both your Back at the campsite, getting our packs ready. Getting our packs ready to go on our little ad adventure hike um, today, and then we'll, we might run actually as well. There's one canyon that supposedly is kind of runnable. So, yeah, also, this morning was an exciting morning because I'm engaged now. Woohoo! That's fun. I'm really excited about that.
is mostly sandy, so there's not much scrambling like some of the others. But this one has got these super cool canyons on either side, or rock formations. And there's just hardly nobody, nobody is here. We've seen one group today, which is fun. We have it all to ourselves. So sandy, hard to run, but this is the only place you can run pretty. first camp to horse camp which is directly across from horse camp canyon which is right behind us and we are about to hike up there it is 442 so we'll maybe even get to catch a little bit of the sunset as it goes down but the sun's pretty high right now What a day. <laughs> David proposed. We went into two different canyons and hiked about. Well, we ran for three different canyons. Ran four. Hiked, I think, about four or five. We have another four to hike out of here tomorrow. And tomorrow will be a half day. But today was full of fun and goodness. It's um, only 7 o'clock, but I think I'm probably going to go to bed now. Yeah. It's dark. Mm-hmm. You filming this? Is this for your video? Mm-hmm. It's recording. This is recording, but <laughs> I'm using it as a mirror right now. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right! <laughs> It's day three. We're headed out of the canyon today, but we are gonna check out Vargas on our way out. And then, like I said yeah, last night, we've got about a four mile hike out of here um, downstream, which is nice because it kind of picks your feet up for you. And um, it's a little chilly this morning, so I'm gonna start with my jacket or my long sleeve shirt on. I like it, but I'm also cold. And it's gonna be cold in the water, so I'm really. Hoping the sun's gonna come out soon. We slept um, at this campsite right across from horse camp and it was lovely. There's great water, of course, everywhere. So easy to filter and then just a hop, skip and a jump from horse camp canyon to check that out, which I really enjoyed. That was a super cool canyon. What's neat about a lot of these um, side canyons is right now, we're here in the middle of September pretty much. They are so overgrown, 
with like trees and stuff that you almost miss them most times um, and then the beginnings of them are very they're not so exciting you kind of you're like eh, is this gonna be worth it to climb into them and then eventually the overgrowth starts going away and the boulders that like almost gate them off you climb over those and scramble a little bit and then they just kind of open up into these really cool rock formations and um, definitely worth seeing. I feel like the people we've talked to here have not hardly gone down the canyons. They've just gone down the middle of Aravipa, which is cool in and of itself, but if you're gonna come out here and you have time, it's definitely worth checking out these side canyons because they are cool. And each one of them are different from the next. As you can see, this is a big pool normally. A couple waterfalls that run into it. And there's just more and more of these guys that yeah. go. And so that's the trick. David came in March, the beginning of this year, and there's tons of water. Um, since we had a pretty wet winter this past year. Hmm. Anyways, but that's definitely the trick is to try and time it. Number one, three months out to get your permit and your reservation. But number two, to time it so there is enough water, but also you're not in danger of flash flooding. So hopefully we'll be able to time it well again because I would love to see this place with water. Um, just like tons and tons of waterfalls. That sounds like a totally different experience. Right now it's pretty dry, but still cool. but not the canyon, per se. And then we'll make our two hour drive back home to Tucson. Thank y'all for coming with me this week. Hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe. I will see you next week and happy trails. Always easy getting up. Your bag's gonna hook. Dun, da, da. I'm a pro.